Hi guys, it's Hayley. Um, I'm just going to share a couple of pages with you that I did on a recent retreat. Okay, so this one here is of Sophia. And it's really about how she writes me letters all the time. I mean all the time. I love notes. All the time she writes me wee notes and it's, they're really cute. She always tells me I'm pretty. Oh, sorry, that was just my laptop doing its thing over there. Um, she always, yeah, she usually tells me they're really cute. I love mum. She is pretty too and she is beautiful too. Love Sophia for mum. Thank you mum. <laughs> they don't always make sense but neither do I. So that works out quite nicely. So I have a ton of these. It's, I don't want to keep, well, I do want to keep them all, but I'm not going to keep them all. I'm going to try and just pick a few favourites and get them on the page. I really like having ephemera and, like in another video of mine, you'll see some certificates from brownies and pippins. I like having that stuff in there. To me, that's the stuff the kids will pull out later on. And that's important to me that it's there. I've got a big box of stuff and I've just got to kind of go through it and figure out what are the most important bits. So on this page I wanted to do a kind of up down thing. <laughs> you know like uh, you know from the bottom to the top. And I wanted to use these pieces um, because I really felt like this colour isn't something I use a lot and I thought at least if I do a page and get you know the main piece well that main piece and this piece used I can focus on it and not just keep putting it to the side like, oh, there's that piece, that colour that I don't have anything to go with. So, yeah, I just started with the picture and the pocket and the piece of chipboard and then I just started moving up and down. I um, got these stickers here from a freckled fawn kit. They're actually the whatever month of the ODME kit that was about reading or being a bookworm type one. It's from there. But I love that colour and this piece of chipboard here went really well with it. They're the same colour. And then this is from the 6x6 pad. And this piece stamp is, I think, Dear Lizzie. This set here... Hmm. See if I can find it. Oh, it's right here. That set here, I actually bought that when I was on the retreat and I really like it. I just use the, um, the ink I use all the time from close to my heart, that slate. Um, and these are by the Scrapbook Diaries. I don't know who they are. I don't know. Random. I'm sure that you guys probably know, but I didn't know. But I just thought all of those are really versatile kind of scripty things I would use. And it does come with a UR. So yes. So I just did that to fill the spot. And then I just wrote, Dear Sophia, I love that you write me letters all of the time. Always remember that there is power in your words and to, to build up or tear down. You always use your sweet words to make me feel great. You're a special sweet girl. I'm pleased you're mine. Love Mama. And look how cute she is. I know, she's cute. Anyway, so that was that one. I thought it was kind of important. Um, it's quite funny because I did this one on how she likes to write things down. And I did this one on how my older daughter, excuse the onesie in the photo. <laughs> Where's with the onesies, honestly? They're not very attractive, but um, the kids love them. And this one is about words as well, because I'm quite wordy if you hadn't noticed. Like, I like to write, I like journals, I like storytelling. So like for me to focus on the wordy things here is not, not shocking. But I kind of thought it was kind of neat that Sophia was kind of like a writing down kind of girl. And Olivia's like a really, what you write to her is really important. Right, so this piece here is super old, like, I think it's a really old crepe paper. Anyone recognise it? Yes, I think it is a really old crepe paper. And this here is the stitched, sorry, I'm a wee bit out of frame, the stitch collection from Amy Tan. And I decided that since I was at the retreat and the 
the um, typewriter was right there that I should take advantage of the fact. So I did this first. So there is a few typos where the typewriter and me kind of didn't connect. And, um, but I'm okay with that. And so I did this first and I kind of just knew that I had a 6x4. And so I just left that space there. I could have put something here, but eh, I'm not worried. So these bits, that's another one of those um, Amy Tan... Oh, no, it's not. Sorry, that's from the die cut pack. These are from the um, 6x6 pad. This is from the rub-ons. And this is from... These here are from the sticker sheet. Now, they've got a clear background. So I mounted those on cardstock and cut them out. And I mounted these on cardstock and cut them out. If I put them there, trying to layer them, you wouldn't be able to read it. Okay, and this is from the 6x6. And these are LA Studio letters again that I have coloured with my ink pad because they were kind of a lime green. And I like the lime green, but I needed this. So, um... The journaling reads, Then she read the card over and over. Ever since you were a really tiny love, you've always been all about the words. Even when you couldn't read yet, you'd bring a card over to me and ask me to read it to you. You particularly enjoy handmade cards where friends have given a bit of themselves. You still pour over things now when someone writes something to you. At birthdays and Christmas time, it can take a while, but you read every single one over and over. And then I just wrote this book about my idea to give you a book so we can write letters and questions back and forth, hopefully to encourage your love of all things wordy. And yes, we have a book. I should show you it sometime. It's really cute. It's got a picture of us on the front that is um, maybe my first or second Mother's Day with Olivia. And we just write stories and talk about each other and write questions back and forth. And it's really funny. Sometimes it's very serious. Not really. But, you know, sometimes it's like heartfelt stuff and sometimes it's really random. So I'm about to start that with Sophia now that she is able to write more than just a little bit like she can actually put her feelings down so I'm about to start that with her which will be really interesting because she's super random like I asked you I've got a scrapbook this but I asked you do you want to have a book to write down you know questions and you know can ask mum things and tell me if you you know feelings about stuff and she's like oh yeah so what would I ask you like you know, do you like yaks? <laughs> and I was like, I was driving. And I'm like, oh my gosh. She's so random. Like, she's really, really awesomely random. But it's quite funny. Okay, so moving right along from yaks. Um, made this page here about Olivia and about her freckles. Um, because she's not sure about them. And I love freckles. And so does Jamie. And... She's the only one with freckles apart from me, so it's kind of cool that it's kind of our thing. So I just, I wanted this to be kind of, you know, light. And so I've just got some um, American Crafts cardstock, and this piece of paper is a scrap from Studio Calico. And then a wee bit of just silver glitter there. And this is a picture of us when we're just out here, when we're just out and about at our local wild animal Park. and uh, it's the only time I think you can't even really see them and they're a lot a lot more prominent now but I thought I'd roll with it anyway this is an old piece of um, I want to say Echo Park but I'm not 100% sure I don't know where my um, where my um, memory has gone <laughs> so these here these here that say Frickles the wooden ones are from um, Freckled fawn. Ha! Anyway. <laughs> um, I really like those. I think they're really cool. And this is from a pad. Um, I don't even know if you can see it. Can you see that? A pad of vellum put out by Cosmo Cricket called um, Voluptuous. And it's all... I wonder if that's here. Hmm. It's not within reaching, not stuff crashing down distance. So we won't go there. But it is just a um, a pad of different vellum. Some have like a finish to them, like a 
you know, like they look shiny, like they're embossed, like a lacquery kind of thing. Some of them are just patent, and that's one of my favourite ones, this one here. Because it's so, you know, um, understated. Let's go with that. So that's from there. This is from Freckle Fawn, and it is totally cute. I just got some more of these. And so is this. Will you plus sign? And this is really old from um, Freckle Fawn. Yeah, from Freckled Fawn as well. Now these bits of vellum, they are from an old, well, an oldish Webster's Pages. And I just kind of put three different bits of the vellum. They're like those cutter parts. I just put three different bits kind of all layered together to give my journaling something to sit on. And then this piece here, this is lovely. This is from the, um, one of the new... Project Life kits. It's not from the core kit. It's one of those supplemental packets. So I don't know if I've shown them. I don't know. Hold on. In case I haven't. I know where they are. So it's one of those packets that comes with, you know, just four by sixes and six by hey, four. 4x6s and 6x4s, 4x6s uh, and 3x4s. So there's not there's not a heap, but they're all kind of special ones. So I'm kind of going to use those as my titles, I think. Well, this is kind of a title, but, you know. So they're lovely. And they come, you know, with the stitching, and it's all done. So it just the journaling just reads, Little tiny kisses from the sun. You have the most adorable freckles, Livy. I had freckles too when I was a little girl. So far it's something unique to us, but we will see if anyone else joins our freckle club. Because I didn't want her to be self-conscious, because I think they're awesome, but I have to kind of be chilled out about how awesome I think they are, because then she thinks I'm just trying to make her feel better, and I'm not. <clears throat> well, I'm just trying to, you know, you want them to feel um, good about it and not obsess about anything, which she doesn't, but... Um, Anyway, moving along, this is the last one from that group. This one <coughs> is kind of a wee bit more out there. Um, this paper here, I think that's Dear Lizzie from my uh, older, maybe not Daydreamer, but the one before that. So that's just from a paper pad, so it wasn't very thick, so I just put it on some black um, cardstock. And this is where Gabby. This is where Gabby, um, we've just been to her, we just had her birthday party at a local kind of picnicking kind of place. And we'd just gotten home and my friend B had given her a Doc McStuffins um, costume. And we'd actually, I don't know how, but we'd taken two cars because we had a lot of stuff to take. And I must have gotten home before my husband. I didn't have my, I must have had my, oh I know why. We've been away somewhere and I gave dad, my dad my house key in case anything happened and he needed to get into the house. And I hadn't got it back, but we got back first from the party. So we were just sitting there hanging out and she decided to put her costume on. Anyway, that's a really big digression and you didn't really need to know because, I mean, it doesn't add to it at all. Anyway, so she's got her um, Doc McStuffins costume on and she sings the song all the time and, you know, if you know Doc McStuffins at all... Um, they always say the dock is in. So these are just some old thickers from Dear Lizzie. These we sequin wood veneers are from Chic Tags. Uh, I did this die cut ages ago on my silhouette and then I've just put bits behind. So some some are a bit of a waste because you don't even see them but there's some that have like vellum, glitter, sequins. And this has got some of the sequins. Vellum, washi tape. So yeah, this is from Dear Lizzie, and so is this one. And that's kind of what I do. I kind of try and, like with that other one, with the, hold on, with this one, I try to collect, you know, like a couple of pieces that are all going to be enough to create a page. That's what I did with these too, because that's not a colour I use a lot, but it, it really does work here. And then... Um, yeah, that's just pretty much what I told you. Um, the journaling. That's just a journaling card from High... Is it High Five? I think. From High Five. 
and that's one of the newer ones and that's a stamp set I already showed you so I was kind of using these new things that I got while on retreat and there is a crinkly bit of tissue paper under there that's making that racket and that's just um, been sewn down and this is a wee wood veneer from Chic Tags as well and I thought that was just cute because you know I'll probably forget how much she loves stop mixed ovens so yes thanks for coming by and supporting my channel and for watching and I will talk to you again soon have a great day bye